Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. A pleasant good night to each and every one of you. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing a special recipe with you guys, so come on down and let's see what it is. For our crab cakes, I have a few ingredients here. I have some fresh green onions, fresh purple onion, a carrot, some flat leaf parsley, I have two eggs, a little bit of flour, some sesame seed oil, and I have some rice wine vinegar. I'm gonna leave all the measurement in the description below, and here I have my fresh crab meat. This is not the imitation, this is the fresh crab meat. Look at that. And I just love crab cakes so today i'm going to show you how to prepare your own crab cakes in your kitchen and you will feel like a chef So this is my very favorite part when it's time to add ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead now and add our salt. We're gonna add some black pepper in here. Let's add our rice wine vinegar. If you don't have rice wine vinegar, you can leave that step out or add red wine vinegar. We're gonna add our sesame seed oil. So we're creating that real nice Asian flavor in the crab cakes. We're gonna add some paprika for a little bit of heat and color. And we're gonna go in now with all the other ingredients. So flat leaf parsley, green onions, grated carrots, purple onion, one slice of whole wheat bread and this is what we're going to use to bind everything and we're going to add our eggs and this is also working as a binder a little bit of flour to glue everything together and we're gonna start mixing now. It smells really nice. And if you never had crab cakes before, this is one you must try. Beautiful colors, isn't it? So that's how easy it is to prepare. I'm gonna heat up the oil now and start the frying process. So after mixing all the ingredients together, the mixture should be nice and moist like this. When you add it to the oil, it won't fall apart. It will stick together. So in the pan, I don't have much oil. 
and I'm gonna just drop them in with a spoon you don't have to make any fancy shape or anything however you like it to be but I'm just gonna drop a little bit in a spoon into the oil it smells really nice with the sesame oil and it will taste very delicious with all this rich seasoning that we have going on in there I don't want to crowd the pan so I'm gonna do five in one frying so you want to gently flip them and you you can cook them until they're nice and golden brown on both sides and then they will be ready to serve these can work great for appetizers they can work great when you have company over and it can also work amazing in a hot dog bun or um, a burger bread so here is my beautiful crab cakes nicely prepared the smell is amazing i wish if you guys can taste it i have enough for everyone look at the seasoning how they're popping out but before i do the taste test i have a success story for sister donna she tried my chickpeas or chana salad and she really loved the way it came out and i'm gonna share a few of those pictures with you guys for the success story and then i will let you know how this crab cake tastes i didn't had crab cakes in years So here is our delicious crab cakes. If you never had this before, please give it a try. I'm gonna go in with my hands. Just come, I wanna show close up. I'm gonna go in with my hands because I wanna show how beautiful this is done inside. Look at that. And this is the full crab meat, like the whole meat that comes out from the entire crab legs. I have it here. And I'm just gonna take my bite for all you wonderful people out there. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Exactly like when you buy it from, from a restaurant, they have that hint of the sesame seed oil and that um, rice wine vinegar. Oh my gosh and all the other flavor there's a crunch from the onions the celery and the sweetness from the carrot it's just a beautiful combination so i have to take another bite and the crab meat mm -mm -mm. the crab meat is so fresh in there so delicious so i want to say to you guys if you like this recipe please give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also want to shout out my Korean subscriber and friend Aram. If you're watching this video, I want to say a pleasant good night to you. And guys, I want to wish everybody a happy, safe, and blessed night. Love you guys. Bye for now.